Hi, Daryl from So Right Seeds here. I'm out in the shop today and we're uh, just packaging up some of the new varieties for 2023. And I wanna show you a few of my favorites. Okay, we gotta start with these two flowers. We got uh, Sweet Alyssum, uh, Carpet of Snow, and Petunia Dwarf Mix. The reason that these are two of my favorites are these are flowers that my mother loves to grow. She, uh, I rem remember her flower beds being just full of them. And so it reminds her of her, reminds me of her. That's why I love those two varieties. And then we've got this new tomato, uh, tomato rose. This is a very prolific, um, what call a beef steak. It's a mid-sized tomato, but a salad tomato, I guess you would call it. But again, very prolific. Uh, be prepared for a lot of tomatoes with this one. And the coloring's a little bit unique on it. It's pink and not red. So that's kind of fun. fun. And then uh, we have this uh, baby's breath. This is great, of course, for bouquets. I will point out that this is the annual, not the perennial. The perennial can be invasive, but this annual is not. So uh, safe to grow in your garden and to have for your bouquets. We've got a white eggplant. I know this may seem a little unique, but uh, eggplants used to be almost all primarily white, and thus the name. Uh, but uh, we've kind of moved to growing, uh, all of us together, moved to growing purple and pink ones. But uh, we thought we'd add back a, a white one to get us back to the origins of the eggplant. Um, we've got a new carrot, the Parisian carrot. This is a short, stubby little carrot. Uh, grows round almost. It's great for soils that are heavy, and uh, if you can't work them deep, this one grows really well. It's very sweet and good. We've also added uh, nettle leaf horse mint, which is terrific for pollinators. The bees absolutely love this plant, and you'll definitely bring them into your garden if you plant it. We've got a new lettuce variety, Giant Caesar. Now, um, romaine style of, of lettuce can be a little challenging to grow and, and do well in garden. And this variety seems to do well. So we're excited to give that a try and uh, have a good romaine. And then finally, uh, we've got the uh, top pick pink eye cow peas. Uh, the reason I like these ones is this is a multi-purpose bean. You can pick them uh, in their immature state, like we have them on the front of the packet. They're a lot like uh, an asparagus noodle bean or um, a yard long bean. They don't get quite that long and they grow in a bush instead of a big vine, but they taste really similar and they're great. You can also let them go to the shelling stage and shell them and eat them in that state or all the way dry, dry them out and let the pods dry out completely on the plant. And then of course they're great for going into soups and and uh, things like that. So uh, lots of uses for the cow peas and um, a favorite in our garden. Okay, that's our uh, some of our new favorites. We've got a special section on the website that uh, lists all the new varieties. We have about 40 that we've added. So go to sowrightseeds.com and check it out. Thanks.